Oh my goodness. Hey guys, I'm Jay Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are just joining me, welcome, happy to have you. Here we do and talk plenty things, so if that interests you, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out when I post new videos. So today's garden topic is variegated monsteras. Money. So I've purchased two different types of monsteras, the Monstera Thai Constellation and the Monstera Borzigiana Albo Variegata. And some of you guys already know the backstory on the Albo. Um, last week, Wednesday, I went on to Logis and I went on their website and they had them in stock, which was a fluke because most often, every time I check Logis, it's out of stock. So I was super excited to be able to purchase one from Logis. However, I was extremely nervous because this is a type of plant that most people, when they purchase it, they're purchasing it for its variegation. So people tend to be a little bit more selective when it comes to purchasing these variegated plants. Um, oftentimes you wanna know what you're getting, what kind of variegation it has, what kind of fenestrations, and just overall, you wanna know what the plant looks like um, when it's coming to you in the mail. But I took a chance, and considering Logis seems to be extremely reputable, I went ahead and purchased one in the dark, so I have no idea what it looks like, and it just came in the mail today, so I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. I am so excited. All right, so first what I wanna do is do a little unboxing for you and show you what I got. And then I'd like to share some important tips with you when purchasing variegated Monsteras. All right, so this one right here is the Monstera Thai Constellation. I actually purchased this on Etsy and I made sure to take a look at the reviews before making the purchase. And let's open her. Take a look at this Monstera Thai Constellation. Wow. Here's another leaf. And then here's this one. And here's the stem. So this is a established cutting and it has roots. Wow. The root system on this plant looks really good. I am overall extremely happy with this selection. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let me wrap her roots back up and open the next one. All right, so now the one that I have been anxiously awaiting to open because I have no idea what this plant looks like. Um, I purchased it last week, Wednesday, and it is now Wednesday. Um, so it's been in the mail um, for about a week. And, uh, okay, let me just, let me just uh, open it up. So this is what it looks like inside. Some paper and my invoice, which I paid $149.95 for a five inch pot, Monstera Deliciosa Variegata 
Poor Zijiani. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, look. Oh my gosh, guys. From the small amount that I can see right now, I'm in love. I have no words and my face hurts from all the smiling I'm doing <laughs> This is the best blind purchase I have ever made. Logies, you guys totally delivered. Take a look at her leaves. Look at this one right here. This gorgeous wood right here. with beautiful variegation and a five inch pot. You guys, I just, I have no words. No words, none, none. I'm totally speechless. I can't believe I own these. Um, but I am gonna say it is a tough decision because these plants are not cheap. Money. By any means, um, considering some can go for a really pretty penny. Uh, I just don't know what to say. I can't believe I own these gorgeous plants. All right, so back to the rest of the video. Let's go over some tips to help you when you're purchasing variegated monsteras. Tip number one, set a budget for yourself. Set a price point that you feel comfortable spending on one of these plants. And try not to go over your spending limit you set for yourself. Unless there's a plant that is slightly over your budget and brings you joy. You can't really put a price tag on that feeling. Just know and be comfortable with the amount of money that you're going to be spending because these plants are not cheap. Money. Tip number two. I would recommend purchasing a plant that is fully established and in a pot or a cutting that is rooted. Purchasing these as cuttings can be a little risky considering not all cuttings actually propagate and even the most established growers can often have trouble propagating these plants. So if you are able to select one that is an established plant or is a rooted cutting, I would recommend those versus cuttings. Tip number three, consider the time and weather when making your plant purchase. I would suggest when making your plant purchase to purchase in the spring. Oftentimes plants can experience frost damage during shipping if you purchase plants during the winter. Tip number four, purchase from a reputable seller like Logies that has great customer reviews. Tip number five, if you're able to find these plants locally versus online, I would suggest jumping on that opportunity versus purchasing one online as you don't have to deal with your plants being in a box and in the mail for a couple days to a week as sometimes you will experience leaf damage in shipping like this one right here. There's just a little bit of browning, but I'm not sure if that's due to shipping. This is a happy early birthday present to me since spring is canceled in the local area. I had to resort to purchasing plants online as I am trying to practice social distancing and do my part. So yeah, I splurged Money. and I am super thankful and super excited. 
I have no words, still, no words. Well guys, I guess that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or just want to plant chat, please leave your comments in the space below. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. When I am not shooting videos, I am taking pictures as there is always something new growing. And until next time, bye!